this in this video i'm going to show you how to do form validation using reactive forms in the last video i have shown you that how you can create reactive forms and in case you have not watched my previous video then please watch the previous video first because this is the second part of that video so unless you watch this video you won't be able to understand this so uh, please watch the uh, if you have not watched the first video then please go uh, through that video and then come back to this video in case you have already seen that then let's continue to do the form validation in this part so this is our form right so let me start this once again npm start okay so now it successfully ran so now let's go here localhost 3200 okay so what we are going to do here that in case you just click on this and doesn't write anything doesn't type anything in that case there should be an error also when you just try to click on this button there should be an error that's saying the first name is missing last name missing email missing password missing like that okay so what we need to do is that first thing let's go to our app component of html the ts file so let's create here a function we'll, we'll write here get f then here return this dot console dot form okay actually here the curly braces not this so what we are doing here this is a function like this okay so what we are doing here we are getting all instances of form in this f function in this one okay so that we can access the same from here also initial uh, submitted value is false and when it will be clicked on submit then submit value will be true so these are the two points now let's come to here and let's write the code here DRV DRV inside there star ng if equals to here will be submitted equals to true so submitted here this one submitted or touched and first name touched So here will be double pipe sign here okay so what we are doing here if ng if submitted that means if you just click on submit button or you just clicks on first name but did not write anything and and first name is invalid here form dot in here will be app dot name dot invalid dot invalid okay so the logic here is if ng if submitted that means you just click on the submit button or if you just, just click on the first name and just touched it but didn't write anything and and it's invalid okay that means the form is not valid in that case we will show here the message again we need to write here another div where we will write ng if equals to first name dot errors here first name dot errors errors uh, ors errors and first name dot errors dot required no 
to watch fine eng if f dot first name dot errors and f name dot errors required this double quote then we will show here message that means what if first name has error and the parameter is required so what is required you can see this is required okay this one is not checking here this is first name is error and it is required again we will write here please enter first name okay we can we could have put here ng class also so that the error message will show red but that's it so now if you go here and click so or there is something wrong not this one here submitted first name dot test and first name invalid then first name errors since first name errors dot require yeah looks fine what's here let's see here oh, looks fine this 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 Check again. Still, there is some error. Let's see what's the error. It says no provided for template form. No provided for template form. So, where is the error? Oh, I missed star mark here. Okay, so let's right here. You can see the message is playing here. And also, if you try to submit, then it will. So, so how it's working? Let me show you. Okay, let's see here. We are saying that when user touched, okay, this touch, then show this error, or else when user submit, here is submit button below behind. When user click on submit, then show this error. So either way, either clicking it will show error if it's empty, or user clicks on this and again clicks outside. That's we didn't write anything that touch then and ng if has error that means there it will be error and if it is required in that case it will show the message error now the same can be applied also here for last name everything will be same just need to change with last name that's it last name last name last name last name and last name required so please enter last name then same here for email email so submitted then email 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 and required email and then password as well here password all right now let's check what happened unexpected get a return somewhere where line number 27 23 line number 23 here with last name this side is here this side is here so what's wrong with this oh there is something wrong here that. 
no let's check 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 and then check so you can see either way by click then all the errors will be so either way if you click here then also so if you and yes if you write then the message will go okay one more thing if you want that unless user fill up the complete form the button should be disabled so for that you need to write here in html Disable equals to submitted dot invalid. So the form it will be form actually not submitted. Form dot invalid. If it's invalid, then it won't show anything. So now you can see it is disabled. So if you write something, right, right, right. So it's still disabled. But if you fill up the form in all the fields, then automatically it got enabled. Now we will add few more parameters. For example, the password should be minimum three lines, three characters, and maximum twelve characters. Okay. So if you want to put this kind of validations then it is possible in reactive forms so let's go here and then in password okay for that if you want to use multiple then you have to put here square bracket one more and then write validators dot here you can see million so how much we will put here three and again validators max length how much 12 okay so we will here put 12 now let's come back to here and where is email no it's not inside email uh, password right so it will be actually please enter password enter password so apart from that we will add here okay once we have done that then just inside this part remember under this and parallel to this one let's just talk here and let's write here errors and password dot mean length that's it mean mean length and inside this will be please enter password uh, minimum three characters okay and for maximum values we will put here 12 maximum maximum this character okay and here max length and e max l e n g t h okay so now let's put here try now email password minimum it's a i just put one then it's showing minimum three characters will be then now error is gone but if i keep writing here then it says that it shouldn't be more than 12 characters so you can see this way you can apply multiple conditions also here similarly for email if you want to and for email if you want to put here multiple conditions let me put here one more square bracket and then and then uh, the validators dot email okay so it will check email so go here just copy this and email 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 and then email here so it will say please enter please enter valid email format okay so what it will check if i write here nothing then i will get please enter 
last name not actually email i have not changed this Please enter email here email but so if i leave blank then it will say please enter email but if i write something like this then it will say please enter valid email format that means i must include at the rate and then like this only then it will work so guys you can see uh, so this is the syntax now how you can uh, validate here the form and there is a lot of other uh, validations as well as the customization so in further video i will also show you that how you can do custom validation as well as other parameters so that's it in this video hope you like this video still you have not subscribed my channel then please subscribe so that the latest video will be reaching to you thank you for watching bye